Hello everyone, I am Dr. Ajay Shraj Saxena, Consultant Surgical Oncologist and Minimal Access Surgeon at Apollo Hospitals, Jubilee Hills, Hyderabad. Today I will be clarifying few of the most frequently asked questions about liver cancers. So what are the early warning signs of liver cancer? Unfortunately, most liver cancers uh, when they are early may not cause any symptoms at all. Most people may come to us with vague complaints of having pain in the right upper abdomen, having some kind of itching over the body or they may come with complaints of uh, an underlying liver getting failed. So they may have features of swelling over both their legs, fluid in their abdomen or you know yellowish discoloration of their skin and eyes. What is the main cause of liver cancer? There are three most important causes of liver cancer. Number one is cirrhosis of liver. Number two alcohol consumption. Number three non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. So what is cirrhosis of liver? Cirrhosis means anything that damages the liver over a period of time causes the liver tissue to become hard to become fibrosed or something like a scar and this scar will ultimately lead to the formation of cancer in the liver. Now what are the most common things that can cause cirrhosis of liver which include a hepatitis that is a viral infection caused by hepatitis B and C virus, alcohol consumption and a lot of hereditary conditions which are known as hemochromatosis, Wilson's disease and other factors. All these can lead to formation of liver cancer. Alcohol when consumed over a long period especially having more than 60 ml of alcohol for about 8 to 10 years can lead to significant injury of the liver and ultimately lead to development of liver cancer. The other most important causes are excess of fat or excess of sugar in the body. So obesity and diabetes mellitus are another important set of risk factors for development of risk uh, of liver cancer. When the excess fat or the excess sugars get deposited in the liver, they cause oxidative damage which ends up damaging the liver and over a period of time it develops into cancer. Who is most likely to get liver cancer? Now when we look at who is most likely to get at liver cancer, 80% of the liver cancers occur with a background of cirrhosis. That means 80% of the liver cancers occur when the liver has become fibrosed or scarred and about 20% of liver cancers can still occur in the absence of cirrhosis. A lot of factors which can be either inherited, so those who are having underlying cirrhosis of liver, those who are having chronic hepatitis B or C infection and those who consume alcohol and those who are obese. All these people are at increased risk of developing liver cancer and they need to periodically get an ultrasound of the abdomen to, to keep their liver in check and keep a close follow up over their liver. How is liver cancer usually diagnosed? Now liver cancer can be diagnosed by a combination of methods by using a the, the most basic test that one can get done is an ultrasound abdomen to look at any lesions that have developed in the liver. Now to diagnose liver cancer and to be sure there is a CT scan of the abdomen which is a spiral x-ray of the abdomen and takes slices, thin slices of, the ab of our liver to characterize that this is a liver cancer. And this is also correlated with a simple blood test called as a tumor marker known as alpha fetoprotein. Elevated levels of alpha fetoprotein and imaging on CT scan is used to diagnose liver cancer. Can you beat liver cancer? Of course we can beat liver cancer. There are a wide varieties of treatments which are available to cure liver cancer. A surgery can be done 
to remove a portion of liver when we have small tumors in one part of the liver or in the presence of a background cirrhosis of liver, the liver can be replaced by liver transplantation. The other treatment modalities include burning these liver cancers by radiofrequency waves, by microwaves or by heat or by chemoembolization of various particles. Also chemotherapies in the form of intravenous injections or oral tablets can be given and there are a lot of upcoming targeted therapies and immunotherapies which are now available to beat liver cancer. Can you lead a normal life with liver cancer? Yes, one can lead a normal life with liver cancer. Surgery may itself be curative for you and after that you can go on to lead your normal life and your normal activities. Even following a transplant, there, there, there may be some amount of tablets that you may need to take but you can go on and lead a normal life. Living a normal life also depends upon how, what is the condition of your liver. If your liver, underlying liver is well and performing its function up to the mark, what are the last stages of liver cancer? Now the last stage of any cancer, including liver cancer, is when the cancer has spread beyond the liver to various parts of the abdomen. When the cancer has spread beyond the liver to various parts of the body. This can include spread to the lungs, spread to other portions in the liver, spread to the bones and even spread to various other organs in the abdomen. This stage of liver cancer would be called as a fourth stage of liver cancer. What is the most effective treatment for liver cancer? There are many effective treatments for liver cancers. It again depends upon how early or how late these cancers have been diagnosed. Early stage liver cancers can be cured with surgery alone or they may require liver to be transplanted. However, when the disease is advanced, when the cancers are advanced, there are many other modalities which are available which include chemoembolization, they also include chemotherapy which can be given in the form of uh, intravenous injections or tablets, targeted therapies, radiation therapies and immunotherapy which are very effective treatments for liver cancer. I hope you found today's session informative. It is very important to take care of your liver. Be cautious about what you take. There are few very simple things to keep your liver healthy. Quit alcohol. Taking a hepatitis B vaccine can avoid hepatitis infections. Maintain a healthy body weight. All these factors can help you prevent liver cancers.